the wanderer and the edge the edge of the solar system the place where the sun's influence thins into darkness the wanderer reaches the boundary for nearly half a century a small unassuming machine has drifted through silence a silent traveler moving through regions no human eye has ever seen a messenger built by a young civilization sent into the unknown Long after it left the familiar planets behind, it pressed onward. Beyond Jupiter. Beyond Saturn. Beyond Neptune's fading grip. Long after the warmth of the sun faded into a pale, distant ember, Voyager 2 continued. Steady. Patient. Unshaken. A lonely lantern pushing into an endless cosmic night. It launched in 1977. An era of cassette tapes and flickering disco lights. A world of analog dials and blinking bulbs. A time when computers filled entire rooms, yet held less memory than a modern wristwatch. In that world, Voyager 2 was born. Humble in size. Fragile in design. Yet profoundly ambitious in purpose. It was never meant to endure this long. Its expected lifespan was barely five years. Five years to skim past the giant planets. Five years to glimpse alien worlds for the first time. Five years to send home a handful of precious measurements. Five years before its power faded and its voice fell silent forever. But fate had other plans. Nearly half a century later, Voyager 2 is still out there. Still alive. Still listening. Still whispering across distances so vast that light itself takes hours to follow. But the whispers have changed. The tone has changed. The message has changed. No longer just numbers scrolling across screens. No longer just cold data points and equations. There was a pattern. A rhythm hidden beneath the noise. Something deeper. Something that felt less like information and more like intention. Voyager did not simply leave the solar system. It crossed a boundary. Scientists once imagined that boundary as soft. A gradual fading of the solar wind. A gentle blending into interstellar space. Voyager shattered that idea. It recorded a jolt. A sudden spike in particle density. Magnetic fields twisting in unexpected directions. Radiation levels rising sharply and without warning. This was not a smooth transition. It was a border. A razor-sharp frontier. A cosmic doorway between realms. It was as if our solar system was wrapped in a living shell. A vast, invisible bubble of energy and force. A shell that expanded when the sun grew active. And contracted when the sun fell quiet. Voyager 2 approached from a tilted, unexpected angle. It crossed this shifting barrier where no one predicted it would be. The edge of our system was not fixed. It was not static. It was alive. Then came the magnetic shock. Beyond the sun's influence, Voyager detected something uncanny. Magnetic fields aligned almost perfectly with those inside the heliosphere. Seamless. Ordered. Unsettlingly precise. Some scientists dismissed it as coincidence. Others felt a quiet unease. Was nature truly this flawless? Or was something shaping that perfection? Then came the silence. Voyager 2 vanished. No signal. No heartbeat. Only the cold hiss of empty space. Hours passed. Then days. Engineers stared at silent consoles. Commands raced outward at the speed of light, but would arrive too late. All they could do was wait. And then, without warning, Voyager spoke again. No reset command. 
No human intervention. It simply woke up. The new data was stranger than anything before. Spikes. Rhythms. Electromagnetic pulses repeating with perfect mathematical regularity. Not turbulence. Not cosmic rays. Not the fading echoes of the sun. Something closer to a biological cadence. A cosmic pulse. Low frequency oscillations every 13.2 hours. Constant. Precise. Weeks passed. Then months. It was as if the space around Voyager was reacting. Listening. Responding. When the signal was converted into sound, the room fell silent. It did not sound mechanical. It did not sound artificial. It sounded organic. A slow, distant heartbeat echoing through the void. Then came the spirals. Bursts of energy followed by silence. Repeating. Cycling. Recursive. Patterns seen throughout nature. In seashells. In hurricanes. In galaxies. Patterns written into mathematics itself. Some whispered the word intelligent. Others refused to say it aloud. Voyager's magnetometer detected something stranger still. The magnetic field did not merely bend. It folded. Curved. Wrapped around the spacecraft. Like invisible fingers shaping soft fabric. Space itself twisted. A lens with nothing to focus. A structure. A doorway. Closed door meetings followed. Quiet ones. Nothing in known physics could explain what Voyager was sensing. Then the impossible happened. Subsystems long believed dead flickered back to life. Instruments powered on without command. Old data logs resurfaced. Voyager no longer behaved like a failing machine. It behaved like one being guided. The images were stranger still. Not photographs. Impressions. Ghost-like forms drifting through empty space. Soft arcs of light. Shadows moving deliberately. They moved slowly. Purposefully. As if the darkness had texture. As if something brushed against reality. Scientists argued endlessly. Were these echoes of ancient starlight? Or something far stranger? The surrounding plasma no longer behaved like noise. What was once static responded to Voyager's presence. Like a living medium. Like something aware. Researchers named it the response field. Space was no longer empty. It was reactive. The pulses continued. Steady. Methodical. Voyager had uncovered a hidden structure. A rhythm embedded in interstellar space. Plasma densities rose and fell in fractal forms. Magnetic spirals repeated across every scale. Not chaotic. Not random. As if following instructions written into the universe itself. The boundary of our solar system no longer behaved like a line. It behaved like a surface. A membrane. A place that recorded what touched it. And the flickers began to resemble something chilling. Memories. Not Voyager's memories. The universe's. Every dying star. Every collapse of matter. Stored not in machines, but in spacetime itself. Could the cosmos remember? Something was out there. Not a planet. Not a star. An awareness responding when touched. The pulses were not accidents. The spirals were not artifacts. Voyager had drifted into a realm where rules dissolve. Where energy behaves like thought. 
Here, measurement becomes message. Data becomes dialogue. Voyager did not discover emptiness. It discovered presence. A presence at the edge of the sun's domain. Not hostile. Not welcoming. Simply aware. It bends magnetic fields. It shapes plasma into spirals. Whatever it is, it is aware of Voyager. And by extension, aware of us. So the question remains. Are we observing the universe? Or is the universe observing us? The void is no longer silent. Its rhythm continues. Like a heartbeat echoing across eternity. And Voyager 2, launched by human hands decades ago, may be the first witness to a cosmic memory older than anything we can imagine. Voyager's mission is not over. And whatever lies beyond that boundary may redefine our understanding of the universe.